Motor Week is made possible by Rock Auto. When times are good, automakers often dabble in exclusive niche models that draw big attention even if sales are small. And when times are tough, they stick to high volume bread and butter models. Well, this Nissan Murano Cross Cabriolet two-door all-wheel drive utility looks like a holdover from the good times. But it's here now, and it certainly got our attention. Looking more like a water vessel than a land yacht, this convertible crossover utility always drops a few jaws at first sight, shortly followed by, what is it? Well, it's the 2011 Nissan Cross Cabriolet announcing its presence not unlike fingernails on a chalkboard. There are not too many vehicles on the road today that are truly unlike any others, but this one certainly qualifies. From the compact cube to the upscale Infiniti FX crossover, Nissan has shown that they're not afraid to stir things up when it comes to design. The Cross Cabriolet is derived from the mid-size Murano crossover, but much has changed. The most obvious of which are the loss of two doors and the addition of a cloth top. This in itself is unique as a rear glass skylight brightens up the interior when the top is closed. Folding the top is a simple one button operation and even with its two glass panels, the top folds compactly behind the rear seats, leaving you with the world's first all wheel drive crossover convertible. While the top down high ground clearance look is a bit awkward, it grew on us the more time we spent with it. Tail lights wrap into the rear fenders 370Z style and point to these raised fairing like pieces behind the rear seats that hide the mechanism needed for top operation. Bi Xenon HID headlights and fog lights are standard as are 20 inch alloy wheels. Out on the road, the Cross Cabriolet is one smooth operator. There's an overall softness to the ride that is both comfortable and comforting. Bumps are absorbed very well, but there's also a fair amount of cowl shake over rough pavement. Everything about it feels more SUV-ish than convertible or roadster. While that may sound like a negative, we couldn't help but break into a smile after driving the Cross Cabriolet around a bit. Although the all-wheel drive practicality and the high ground clearance of a crossover may remain, the cargo capacity of a utility did not survive the transition. Volume drops to a sedan like 12.3 cubic feet top up and just 7.6 cubic feet top down. The luxurious interior of the Cross Cabriolet begins where the top of the line Murano LE leaves off, which means soft but durable leather is standard as is one of three shades of wood trim. The look is different enough to be exclusive while retaining the very appealing Murano layout. The eight-speaker Bose stereo blasts some serious tunes and includes a top-down mode for cruising the beach. Hard drive navigation is standard. Since the Cross Cabriolet is a show-off, Nissan was careful to retain good rear seat room. Plus, easy entry buttons on the front seat backs make access easy. Despite losing its roof, curtain airbags are retained, only now they deploy from the doors, and pop-up roll bars protect the two in the rear. A standard rear view monitor helps when parking as rear visibility is compromised by the folding top. Handling as expected is not a real strong point as this Luxo boat is way too soft for anything more than relaxed cruising, but sharp steering makes it very agile in tight traffic. Power comes from the same 3.5 liter that powers the Murano. The all-aluminum V6 sports variable induction valve timing to produce 265 horsepower and 248 pound-feet of torque, which was enough power to get us to 60 in 9.4 seconds and through the quarter mile in 17.7 seconds at 90 miles per hour. That's a second and a half slower than the Murano hardtop. You can certainly feel the Cross Cabriolet's extra 200 pounds, and a slow-to-respond CVD transmission didn't help matters. We weren't all that impressed with braking performance either, as a soft pedal brought us down from 60 and 132 feet, accompanied with lots of nosedive. 
Government fuel economy ratings for the 2011 Nissan Murano Cross Cabriolet are 17 city and 22 highway on premium gas. The price is also something of a premium as the Cross Cabriolet is available in one fully equipped model for $47,200. Still, that's less than a base Mercedes-Benz SLK and it only seats two and won't get nearly as many looks. So while the Nissan Murano Cross Cabriolet may come up short on utility, it's long on style. It also has great all-season traction and a price that is only a fraction of what truly unique cars usually sell for. And don't say it too loud, but it was fun to drive around with the top down. And that's a plus for Monday through Friday commutes while opening up new possibilities on the weekend.